Iran became a new permanent member of SCO last year, and by applying for full membership, what does Iran aim to achieve um, through its participation in the SCO? And how has Iran been doing in the past year? Actually, this permanent member uh, membership is uh, beneficial for both parties. I mean, for SCO and for Iran. Uh, for SCO, uh, of course, it will be expanded by this new member. And uh, for Iran, as Iran is uh, under sanction, uh, with the support of all those members, uh, can um, stand against the sanctions. And uh, as Iran has a very important uh, strategic uh, geography, uh, you know, it can help the other members uh, for um, more and better uh, logistics routes. And also as Iran is a very important member of OPEC and also uh, gas exporting countries forum, uh, this country can help and support other members of the organization for supply of energy. You know, expansion of the SCO uh, remains one of the important topics to be discussed during this year's Astana Summit. And we know um, Belarus is almost certainly to become a new a full member of SCO. So what does this expansion mean for the organization going forward? And, and also, how do you assess uh, the SCO's unity and also its growing international influence? Uh, of course, uh, every new member will help the organization for more economic uh, development. Uh, SCO plays a, a great role in uh, development of uh, security and economy in the whole world, not only in the region. Uh, and um, of course, um, when there are more members, uh, more initiatives will come. And uh, also, uh, we should consider the major role that in this way, the organization can play in challenging the unilateralism in the world. So it will de develop uh, multilateralism in the world in this way, with uh, accepting new members.